The bitter story of the fall of the mobile king. We didn't do anything wrong, but how can we lose? Those were the last words of Nokia CEO, Stephen Alop. After announcing the giant mobile phone company was bought by Microsoft at a price of 7.2 billion US dollars. Nokia, one of the kings of mobile phone makers before this did not expect them to be paralyzed in such a short time. But what caused Nokia to be so badly crippled? They didn't do anything wrong. But their mistake is to be too comfortable that they forget to change with today's trends. As a result, their company is being cut down by competitors very quickly. While other mobile phone manufacturers are busy releasing new Android phones, Nokia is still comfortable with their Symbian phones. And in the end, they are the losers. Just imagine, what will happen if Nokia immediately releases Android phones when Google's operating system is booming? Of course their company is still alive today and probably getting stronger. One of the most important lessons in this story of Nokia's downfall is if you don't change over time, you're out of the competition. The story of the fall of Nokia is worth a lesson not only for companies out there, but even for individuals themselves. But changing doesn't always mean copying how other people change. We may be able to create our own way that fits the circumstances around us as long as we're not on the old track. The advantage we had last night may no longer be an advantage the next day. So, don't be proud of last night's advantages and forget to improve yourself. To change, we must accept that our ways are wrong or irrelevant. This means change is something that is difficult. But take this Nokia story as a lesson and don't let it sink, just want to go up.